Before we get into the video, there's just a couple of things I need to go over briefly, um, some of the settings and the reasons why I've made this video. Um, so firstly, it's not a review of the Insta360 Go. So if you want 360 Go 3 reviews, then um, type that into YouTube and have a look at that. This is mainly, um, it's a direct comparison between the DJI 3, uh, DJI 03 and the 360 Go 3. Bit of a tongue twist to that. For anyone that might be interested in the Go 3 or wonder why I'm even doing a comparison in the first place. The main reasons I got the Go 3 was for third person view. So I'd like to just be able to mount the camera in various different positions other than just the standard first person sort of shots which you get with the DJI 03. Flow state, the stabilization that Insta360 do, that's another reason that I got the camera. Um, I really like the way the Avata can stabilize the horizon. I think there's some times where, you know, I really want that in a shot as opposed to having the horizon moving. Another reason is true 30 frames per second recording, um, which the Insta360 GO 3 does instead of recording on 60 frames per second uh, on the DJI 03 and using ND filters and exporting the video in half the frame rate. So it's a true 30 FPS from the Insta360 GO 3. And finally, sound. It's got a built-in microphone and there's just some times where I would like to put a pop no noise on the video, even if it's just background noise, just ambient sound in the background. There's just some times where I want prop sound. Uh, and obviously, having a microphone, the Insta360 can do that and the O3 can't. There is no post editing on any of the footage from either camera. So what you're seeing on the screen is exactly how it came out of the camera um, with the basic settings applied. So if the footage doesn't look amazing, it's because it wasn't intended to be the best it could be. I just wanted something that would be a baseline for a good comparison between the two cameras. Uh, the video was exported at 30 FPS. Um, so although the Go 3 was filmed at 30 FPS and the O3 was 60 FPS, I did export it at 30 FPS, but you should still see a slight difference um, it, with the true 30 FPS of the Insta compared to the uh, DJI 03, which has been exported at half the frame rate to try and give the kind of cinematic smoothness. Anyway, that's the intro out the way. So we'll get straight into the video and you can have a look and decide for yourself whether the Insta360 Go is better than the 03 or whether it's something you'd like to get. Uh, I personally was very, very surprised with how well the footage came out from the Insta360 Go um, compared to the DJI. Since DJI 03 came out, I think people have kind of forgotten maybe to use an action cam because yeah, you might not need one, but I think this video might prove that there are still some better options really. Let's pause the video here for a second and we'll take a look at the differences in between these two paused images between the DJI 03 and the Insta360 GO 3. As already mentioned, with both cameras set to basic auto settings, you'll notice that the sky on the Insta360 GO 3 appears to show quite a bit more detail than the DJI 03 does on the left hand side. Next up, we'll take a look at the detail in the road. Both cameras are set to medium sharpness. Now, the Insta360 GO 3 you'll see here appears to show more detail, uh, sharper detail, in the smaller artifacts in the road there. Which is surprising given that the Insta360 GO 3 is recording at 30 frames per second and the O3 is filming at 60 frames per second. One thing I didn't mention is the field of view that both cameras are recording in. So the DJI O3 on the left is filming in wide and the Insta360 on the right is filming in linear. Now, they bo that both gives them actually a similar field of view, even though the DJI is on wide and the Insta360 GO on the right is in linear. We'll switch now to a single clip of each camera flying exactly the same path. So first up to the DJI 03 there. You can see that, it, like I say, it's been exported at 30 frames per second, so it does have a slight cinematic feel. 
But then we've got the Insta360 GO 3, which was filmed at 30 frames per second. And I think you'll see that it does give a more pleasing cinematic effect overall. In the next shot, we'll take a look at how each camera deals with changes from light to dark. You'll see that the DJI 03 doesn't deal with um, changes in light to dark quite as well as the Insta360 GO does. Looking at DJI on the left there, you'll see there's a noticeable increase and then decrease in lightness to darkness as the camera compensates. But if you look at the screen on the right, and the Insta360 GO, there's barely any noticeable change in difference from lightness to darkness. The Insta360 deals with adjusting uh, exposure much smoother in my opinion than the O3 does. Overall, I'm very impressed with the Insta360 GO 3. I bought the camera because I wanted something that could do something that the O3 couldn't. But what I've actually got is a camera that does things as well as if not better than the O3 also does when you compare equivalent features. Anyway, hopefully this video may have helped um, sway someone's decision if you're thinking of getting the Insta360 GO 3. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.